Right. Last episode, at the very end, we got surprised by Lucy Lachance, who appeared out of nowhere. I did not realise I actually qualified for him yet. I don't know who I've killed it. Oh shit, I forgot to put myself that armour. I don't know who I've killed it. Uh, well, I'll go do that now and then run down to... Yeah, I can do that. I'll go sell off the armour in this market district. That's not Hi. the market district. It's it's you, the hero of Gavach. This is Yes, yes, How yes. How goes it? Oh. Right, right, so I'll sell off the shit then. Good afternoon. Okay. Don't the Varys brothers run a good shop. I've shot there many times. Oh, can these people not shop? Right, we're gonna sell off the shit in the market district, then we run off to the in the holes. Slay Rufio on his bed. I've heard you know how to move. The greetings done. Afternoon. Afternoon. Oh. Arthur, Hello. Hello. The light armor got that high. Well, it's nearly expert too. Not sure the fucking hits too. It's from those fucking goblins that are raping me in the corner. Yikes! Okay, I still got plenty of potions. And the arena is a good place to have fun in. Fighting chance. I call it for an old. Yeah, this should have, yeah. Best defense. What do you want? How much money do you have? Have a look at my wares. I'm sure. Isn't. Bye. A pleasure to. Perhaps you need new armor. A weapon. 800. He's a better choice so far. Yes. We'll see. Okay, okay, you're one of those. I can't. That. What a wonderful compliment. You're pathetic. What a dumb. Blah blah blah. blah what a bore. Really now. You've got. That's just not funny. Not I can't so, really now. You're you're a big fat liar. That's just goodness. You're full of it. What a wonderful compliment. You you think that's funny? You're a big fat liar. You win this one. That's goodness. What can I say? You're pathetic. I what really now? You. Blah, 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 what a bore. No, blah, I won't. That's just not funny. You've, that really, blah, 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 what a bore. Goodness, you're path you Sorry, I don't get it. That works for me. Okay. Farewell. Good day. Let's do business. You drive a hard bargain. A good price. You've made. That seems a fair price. A good price. That's a good deal. Why well, is it Elven Helmet? A pla and He has heavy armor, not light armor. Too. The best. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Thank you. Take care. Right, we've got plenty of powers. Yay! So let's go and do this shit. Let's do this shit. Let's go, go, go. Kill Rufio.
Right, okay, Rufio He's not gonna be hard to kill, he's not meant to be hard to kill, he's just there to get you to the dark road. And then from there we've got to run all the way up to Shaden Hall to get to the sanctuary and then we get the tour. Now hopefully I can get that all done in this episode. God, I've got to run all the way down to the end of a woman and then run all the way back up to Shaden Hall. That'll be quite the trip. Not to mention killing Rufio. But that's not going to be hard. Because like I said, he should be low level and he should have very little health. <laughs> I suppose that's also something that every time I get hit for blocking, my light armor goes up too. I know everybody doesn't have any charge anymore. But it still does more damage my bound I got. I could kill a zero star. And use that to recharge every blade. The only reason I haven't bothered like, enchanting this armour yet is because I've been through about six different sets now. Uh, <coughs> Tells up to like glass armour, there's no point in trying to enchant it. Bandit camp. Is it Aloe Vera? No, it's an angry orc. Die, you. An orcish armor with a uh, elven claymore. Yep, an ebony. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ebony gauntlets, please. This guy was decked out to kill. I never really used heavy armor. No, it wasn't Alibi, that was Golden Rod. White seed pod, is that not an else thing you're doing? Water breathing, alright. Is it also a fucking tea? Golden rod tea. Hey, Harrison. How you doing, buddy? See, the dude remembers me. This dude remembers me. He's like, oh shit, it's that cunt that killed me back in Solstein. I better give him this good armor so he doesn't need to come and kill me again. Yeah, so, see, person remembers me. Azura is like, hey, 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 I don't remember you. You only killed Dagafu, killed a couple of gods, killed an Adric Prince. Uh, yeah, that's not much. I don't remember you at all. What a nice Adric Prince she is. <laughs> Oh, I'm joking. Oh god, a draw. Oh, I hate those things. I seriously hate those things. I mean, you can't even get draw armor anymore. It's like... They... They removed the armor for the draws. I mean, it wasn't much, it was only like a helmet and a chest piece and a shield. It was in the game, but. 
Ja, ich da oben ist. Jo. We got plenty of rooms if you want one. Ain't nobody staying here these days except old Rufio. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, then. A bed? Well, of course, of course. I've got a small room available right upstairs. First door on the left. Only ten gold. What do you say? Uh, yeah, sure, here's ten gold. All right, then. You're all set. Remember, first door on your left. So you're saying something about this guy, Rufio? Rufio? He's an old codger. Been living here for a couple of weeks now. He ask me, <sighs> he's hiding from something. But what do I care? He pays his tab. Well, if you get killed in the process. His room is downstairs, in what I like to call the private quarters. Use that hatch in the floor over there. Uh, but don't expect a warm reception. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I enter? Yeah, Farewell, goods. and tell your friends, the Inn of Ill Omen is open for business, as always. Okay, I don't have any friends, but okay. Uh. Oh, why, you dirty little... Uh-oh. Thief, how dare you touch me? Uh. What's that in here? All right, yeah, it's up here. I think you can actually. It's all over, lawbreaker. What? Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. The next move is yours. Pay your fine, or I'll haul you away. What? All right, whatever. Pay gold. Here's the procedure. We go to the castle. First we search you, confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine, and we release you. How do you know stolen? Just if you have interest, how do you even know they're stolen? The fuck are we? We're in County Braville. How can I help you? Yes, we're in County Braville. That place is even far away from Shaden Hall. Uh, but is in here I can sleep at? Oh, that was what she's face. I see from the dream world. Any time now. You see, have you heard about Kvatch? What's going? I used to think you were a hero. Oh, who cares a bit? There's a room free, all right. Best you'll find in Braville, if I do say so. Sure. Right. You'll have to go upstairs to the second floor. Your room is the second door on the right, before the staircase. Hey, uh, do you know what the mouth of the pan for? Sure, I know what that is. Any sailor worth his weight in sea salt could tell you. The mouth of the panther is what they call the delta where the Panther River meets Nibbon Bay. It got its name from the pointed rocks that jut out of the water there. Sort of looked like teeth. Mouth, panther, teeth, get it? Ships are always careful to stay away from it, especially when it's foggy on the bay. The rocks would tear right through a ship's hull like parchment. Uh, can you tell me what it is? Be glad to. Here, let me have your map, and I'll mark the spot for you. Thank you very much. I Take ran care. into some goblins in the woods not long ago. Nasty. I can probably do that. Um, boat now, quest the boat in boat now. Lucien. So, the deed oh. is done. How do I know this? You'll find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things, for you are now part 
of the family. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't mind the fact that I'm of Tom then. Now, heed these words. The slaying of Rufio was the signing of a covenant. The manner of execution, your signature. Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. What the fuck is this? Beep, 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 beep. You must now go to the city of Chaden Hall, to the abandoned house near the eastern wall. Enter the basement and attempt to open the black door. You will be asked a question. Answer thusly. Sanguine, my brother. You will gain entrance to the sanctuary. Once inside, speak with Ochiva. We must now take our leave of each other, you and I, for there is much work to be done. I'll be following your progress. Welcome to the family. Uh, was you are now one with the Dark Brotherhood. Visit Ochiva at the Chaden Hall Sanctuary and your new life will begin. Okay. There's the gum. The gum. I think you can't see him. How Greetings, Imperial. What? What's new with you? Right, let's go run across the river and get to see Oh yeah, I can water walk. I keep forgetting all these spells. Good to see you. Right, so we want to walk across the river to the other side, then walk up to Chain Hall. I don't know why I'm casting it over before it finishes. Yep, your know, alteration is up for how many times you cast spells, not what the spell is or what the magnitude of the spell is, so you're better off casting it as soon as you get your magic about. That way you get your alteration up faster. Or something like that, because usually there's something to fucking kill just because it's boring if I just walk around, you know. That's the game thinks. Right, so Shaden Hall, get to the sanctuary of the Dark Brotherhood. Woohoo! And that'll be the end of this week's episodes. And the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. What is the color of night? Sanguine, my brother. What is life's greatest music? Silence, my brother. What's the music of life? Silence, my brother. That's what it is. Um, what was the other one? Don't star sanctuary password. What is life's greatest illusion? Innocence, my brother. That was the final one. Oh, oh, hello.
Now, as you can tell, the questions to the Dark Brotherhood are kind of it's this, uh, what do you call them? Questions to make you think about how you view the world. Like, oh, yeah. oh sorry. What is what, what is the life's greatest illusion? Innocence, my brother. The illusion that there is innocence. Innocence is just an illusion, yes. And you could say that, and that's because that no matter what you do, you'll never find innocence in the world. You can never have any solid to prove it exists. Like, you'll never find any concrete solid evidence you can pick up and say that this is innocence matter. This is what makes up innocence. Because it's just an idea that people have. Idea. It is, innocence is no more than that, an idea. But that does not mean it's bad. I am no way saying that you should never think of people as innocent. That is up to your own personal choice. And if you can see people as being innocent, then yes, that is good. It's not a bad thing to view innocence as nothing but an illusion, as so long as you remember that it's not a bad thing to view people as innocent either. Who are you who dares to walk in the House of Shadow? What business do you have with the Lord Vermina? Oh dear God, I just want to say hello. Sorry, I just want to say hello. See if she likes a good joke. Here we worship Vermina, praying for her to grant us true visions. What is your business here? I just want a joke. I have a good laugh and like share a few jokes with her. To speak with Vermina, you must offer a black soul gem to the Deidre Lord. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. We serve. Filled or unfilled? I don't have any black soul no gems. Will. I know how to get one. Uh, it involves a ritual. Uh, an altar west of Stingrad. But can I do that before the quest line that takes you there? Probably not. I'll have to find a black soul gem actually then. The Dark Brotherhood might have some because, yeah, they might have some. Does what's his face sell them? The Kajitu gets. He's all up in your face when you first arrive, and then later he's like, oh, you're my friend! It's like the moment you're going to kill him, he suddenly decides that he's going to give you a second chance and try to be your friend. Oh, is you know, that is just is comically funny? The poor wee guy is just all up tight because he's lost so many family members, and now he's just like, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mess. It's not your fault. Our sights has been shite lately. Well, I'm wanting to give you a second chance. Stop! Uh, you killed me! How are you? Uh. Hi there. I used to admire you, but it turns out you're just a sinner like all the rest of us. Yep. Farewell. Do you have that necklace? Or well, maybe it was the crime of stealing the bolt up here if you want for me. Not killed. Why well, did I kill in cold blood to get the Dark Brotherhood on me? Oh, there it is, because it's there.
Dum dum dum. I know I've got to go to this basement. I always have a look around to see if there's anything loot. Go down, we should find a door and we tell that door sanguine, my brother. We should get in. Remember the passwords to all the side streets about a pain in the arse. What is the and we get greeted by a cheetah. Thank you, Cephas. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am <coughs> Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucien has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security <coughs> whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, I've kept you long enough. The Chente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. Thank you. Go now, dear family member. Uh huh. No. Fourteen armor rating versus this is which is ten. Shrouded armor hood is one versus two. But this includes gloves and boots. So you put this on, it places your greaves, boots, armor, and gloves at the same time. But it's good for the Dark Brother quest line, is it? It buffs up your skills that you're going to be using as a Dark Brotherhood member. So I'll and keep the armor. The night mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. Thank you very much. I welcome you to our family and this sanctuary. May you find yourself at home here in the loving embrace of Our Lady, the Night Mother. Thank you. Um, let's see. May you walk always in the shadow of cities. Look at this dude. Dear brother. Daedric Seal. Daedric fucking Longsword. Dum 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 dum. I know, dude. I'm right, looking for a skill book. I'm just having a look around before I end the episode. I remember there's a skill book somewhere. There we go. Oh, light armor expert. It no longer encumbers me. Yes! <laughs> I know what the rear guard is as well. The rear guard is about a guy that's left behind in the castle. And all he's got is this armor, and he doesn't have any swords or whatever, so he learns how to use it. 
they remember the lessons about how to use it, use it to glance the blows and all that by letting the turning just before it hits you so that the blows will just bounce off rather than will glance off rather than actually hit you and do damage. And he remembers that when we finds the armor. I think it was net armor. Something like that. Maybe net armor, yes. There should be a barrel of poison apples around here somewhere. Yeah, so anyway, he remembers that when he finds the armor in the castle. And he goes out and defends the castle from. Well, he didn't defend the castle, he just stays in the castle to stop Emily from taking it over. And eventually. He needs food, he needs to go out at night time, so he goes out uh, and he gets past the sentries by constantly dodging their blows. Get away from me. Yes. He just basically remembers he uses stuff about how to glance the blows off to get past everybody and get the food and get back to the castle without Sneaks back to the castle for MD Nolan and he does this for a few months until the Lord comes back. And he usually, the Lord tries to kick him out of the castle at that point, saying he's done well to defend the castle and now he's dismissed. But he's been reading the books while he's in the castle and remembers. Uh, so he uses the law against the Lord that they are lords away for more than X amount of months from a castle and leaves soldiers and defend, defend it in charge of a castle. They actually get the castle as their own, rather than the castle passes to their ownership, rather than his, because he's been away too long. And he's now become the Lord of the Ch Castle. Yes, that is the story of that Dear Bard book, shortened down to Stuart terms. Thank you for watching this episode, and see you next week. Bye bye.